Alright, here we go. You gotta really stoke Jake about to come up after her unanimous win at 141 pounds that work train fight. Bohemian Boxing reporting live and direct, so with all due respect, cut my check. I'm here with Jacob. Brooklyn, New York in the building, right? Okay, so um you're fresh out the ring. Um they don't know what happened. I actually don't even know what happened. Let us know what happened. I dominated the okay, enemies okay, all three rounds. Okay. I was so comfortable in there, it felt like home. All right then. So Last time um, we saw you, last time I saw you was in the Ringmasters tournament, which is maybe a couple of weeks back. How was that experience? Um, that experience was good. I, I won. Everybody would tell me I won, but they robbed me. They took it from me, and they gave it to the other girl. I'm not mad because I know I won at heart. And when you know you did something, I've been training. I stayed on weight. I was doing good and everything. So I know for a fact that I won. Everybody told me, too. So it's not like it's not like I told myself. Yeah. I, everybody told me, too, that I won. So. Absolutely. Tell me this. What's your weight class? Um, 32. Okay, put them on note. If I'm really being honest, this amateur thing yeah. is just for now. Okay. It's not forever. Yeah. So I don't really put, I don't want to put nobody on notice because okay. I'm not staying okay. in this amateur. I'm going pro okay. soon. Right. So I don't really care who I fight. Okay. I just want to have fights so I could just turn pro already. Okay. So okay. I'm not really going to put nobody on notice because at the end of the day, I know I could be everybody. Okay. Well, you heard it. That was a notice right there. So if you're in her weight class and you want that work, you can come get it. You can get that work at 32, 40, 25, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so um, boxing being such a daunting sport, uh, it can be mentally and physically and emotionally exhausting sometimes, right? Um, even for those who actually have a lot of passion and, and, and luster for the sport. How do you deal with the highs and lows, the wins, uh, the loss? Do you, what you walk away with it? Um, how do you balance that, the duality of your life and boxing is what I'm asking. To be honest, I started boxing for one thing. Well, to be honest, I really have, I had no passion for nothing else. So when I, um, when, when one of my teachers from high school told me about boxing, I was like, okay, I'm going to try it out because I don't really, I wasn't doing nothing. It was like, I was walking around. I'm like, what am I going to do with my life? So I, I really had no plan. So when he told me to go and see how it is and go try it out. He told me to go meet up, meet Bernard, my coach. So I went. I went to try it out. I end up loving it because I, I already used to. I used to fight outside, but like it's not like I did it on like um. I was looking for fights. Fights would look for me, so I would have to defend myself. So when my teacher told me, "Yo, go try it out," I went to go try it out. I loved it. I stuck with it, and then the whole time my mindset is just like, do it for my mom, do it for my mom, because she's helping me out with this. So I'm not doing this on my own. I got I got support. So every time I win. I'm happy, of course. Every time I lose, I'm also happy because I can't, I can't be bitter and be like, oh, oh, it should have been mine. When, when I'm not the judges, so if they see something in the other girl, then they see something in the other girl. So I can't say nothing. But even if I lose, I'm still saying I'm doing this for my mom. So everything that I do and every, every um, the, the directions that I'm going to, is for my mom. So I owe her big, and that's like one of my biggest supporters. Is my mom. So that's what that's what keeps me motivated, and that's what's in my head all the time. Is my mom, my mom, my mom. I did. Well, you pretty much answered um, my following question. So um, I want to take this moment because I know another person who plays a seminal part in your development as a boxer is uh, Coach Bernard. Yeah. All right. So uh, Coach Bernard is um, right over here. Uh, we're going to bring him in. Matter of fact, take my seat. I'm Coach Bernard, uh, last time I saw you was at uh, Man Square Garden at the Ringmasters tournament. Right, so um, now we here maybe a week and a half, two weeks later. Um, at work train fight. Uh, what do you think about the performance tonight? When I see Jake, uh, when I look at Jake, I always think about when the school teacher that worked in the school told me the story about the 14 year old girl, 95 pounds, was chasing home the big guys from school. And I always say, I always said, bring her down and down to me. What 14 years old, 95? Like, man, get out of here. But I see Jake is drive. Jake got a lot of love in her heart, you know what I mean. Yeah. And she also got a lot of other things that she want to overcome. But the great thing is she giving herself great opportunities to overcome these ob obstacles. She willing to challenge any anything. And I'm proud of her, you know what I mean? The performance just shows how bad, how hard she works and how bad she wants to win. I'm not surprised. I'm just happy to be here and working with her and I want to see her grow. Okay. You know what I mean? Even more than what she's growing now. I think she's about the do good things in this sport. I think she about to go on a nice little winning streak and win some fights. If 
she got robbed, I mean, long as she ain't get hurt, you know what I'm saying? And if they got to rob her to beat her, we'll be back, and we're going to give it to them again. Yeah. Let me ask you this, uh, Bernard. Uh, usually I ask the fighters what they're fighting for. I want to ask you what you're coaching for. I'm coaching because I was into fighting myself, you know what I mean? I box a little bit, but, you know, I like to teach people, you know what I mean? And this is my life here, you know what I'm saying? This is what I what I do. This is what I get up and get dressed, shower, dress, come to work. This is my job. It's how I pay pay my bills. So I take it serious. You know what I mean? And I ain't gonna lie, like my eyes are kinda watery now because I'm proud of her. But it's still early, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not even jumping going crazy over because I know it's still early. But pretty soon she gonna have what she need out of this sport. You know what I mean? She's gonna really develop into a not only a good fighter but a fine person. What I want her to do is just maintain her attitude. These people will try to piss her off. Don't get pissed off. Cause then they start talking and giving them a reason, you know what I mean? I want her to go to the Nationals. She's getting along with the other boxes fine. So all she got to do is just stay calm and keep winning. It's, it's coming. It's coming. Thank you for your time. Uh, I'll see you both for the next one. Do you, can you tell me the fight calendar now? Where should we expect to see you? Where should I expect to see you? Whatever fights pop up, we taking it. We're not, we not skipping no fights. She, calls me like, she only had four fights. She was fighting a girl. Ranked number five in the country. She had four or five fights. I'm like, Jake, what the hell are you taking that fight for? I can beat her. I can beat her. Guess what? She beat her. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, you already on my radar, as you know. Yeah, no doubt. But well, hear me in boxing reporting live and direct. So, with all due respect, cut my check.